Jackass Forever. This is the fourth entry in the uh, Jackass saga uh, based on the very popular TV show uh, on MTV back in the day. I've seen a fair amount of Jackass in my life. I've probably seen a majority of the episodes um, of the show. Only saw the third movie. A big reason for that is I, I think I was just a little bit too young when the first two films came out and I, I didn't see them. But uh, I, I like these guys. I root for these guys. I think what they do is very impressive and very funny. And this might be a bit of a shorter review because I can't break down plot structure or character development or direction. This is, you know, a stunt-based movie, a prank-based movie. So you can really only judge it on those merits. Uh, and so I'll jump right into it. This might be the funniest movie I've ever seen. Like, straight up, this movie is so hysterically funny that it's the only time in my life where I was worried that my laughter was annoying the people in the theater. Like, this movie made me laugh to a point of actual tears. Uh, it's It's amazing. It's actually amazing, and I'm actually I'm going to get into the fact that I think beyond just, like, the juvenile humor and making me laugh, there is something artful about Jackass, and, and, and let's jump into it. This movie, in terms of, like, set design, the use of miniatures, creativity, stunt work, is better than, like, 95% of Hollywood films. I think Jackass has turned into an artful thing. There was a tweet... Uh, that I saw, and I, forgive me, I don't remember who sent it, and I, I've been trying to find it and can't, where somebody posted, uh, 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 I think the caption said, Nature is Healing, and it had the Rotten Tomatoes ratings for all four of the Jackass movies, and they've gone, gotten higher and higher with each film. And I think a reason for that is, outside of this movie being funny to a point where you can't breathe, it's so funny, there's something artistic about these stunts, and about the pranks, and about the, the set work, and the miniatures. Like, it's... It's a really, like, it's a legitimately well-made movie on its own merits, and then it just happens to feature guys who are doing some of the funniest stuff I've ever seen in my life. I think when it comes to stunt shows or prank shows, one of the most important things is to have personalities who are very likable. I remember you punked back in the day was, was a big deal, and I was never a huge fan of it because on the show, and I like Ashton Kutcher, but on that show, Ashton Kutcher was such a trucker hat wearing douchebag that the show itself just like wasn't very funny to me I look at these guys in a similar vein to how I look at the Impractical Jokers where it's a group of guys who've known each other forever they have great chemistry but you like them and the fact is there have been a lot of people I mean one of them is in this movie and Rob Deerdeck who have tried to kind of rip off that shtick and you can't these guys are lightning in a bottle they're insanely funny the amount of of pain and torment they put themselves through, it's it's astonishing. They really are, and I've heard this comparison before, and I think this is true. They're the modern day Three Stooges. They're the modern day Laurel and Hardy in terms of like the way that they use the you know stunt work uh, for physical comedy. It's it's legitimately brilliant. Like straight up, like beyond. I know it's in, guys. This movie, I gotta say it, is so juvenile. There are penises and people getting punched in the balls and kicked in the balls and 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 putting their balls in mouse traps and, and running into walls and getting punched in the face. Like it is juvenile humor. And if, if you are a highbrow person, which I am not, maybe you won't enjoy it. But good lord, it's so funny to me. Like it really had me laughing in a way that I just don't laugh at movies. Truly, at this film. Is, um, this is going to make my top 10 list at the end of the year. Like, straight, they, legitimately. And it would have been, if this movie would have came out last year, which it was supposed to, it was supposed to come out in October of last year, it probably would have been number three on my favorite films of the year. Now, 2021 was the worst year ever, but, like, I can't stress enough how much enjoyment I got out of this. I, I mean, I, I, again, I got to keep it short because the reason this movie works is very simple. It's just so funny when this movie ended I, I'm, I'm I didn't get there but there was a part of me that like almost got emotional because I so appreciate the fact that these guys are are willing to put themselves through so much legitimate torment it's amazing none of these guys are dead amazing it's a it's a modern miracle that none of them have died doing this that these guys will put themselves through so much torment just for our entertainment and at the end of the day they're still like best friends there's something like weirdly sweet about that especially now that they're a bit older like it's what these guys do is very honest and I appreciate the hell out of it look I'm not giving this a 10 um, I would say there's maybe one or two stunts that just aren't as funny there's a few kind of weird edits uh, but in terms of like what this movie was trying to do 
it, it hits its bullseye. It's not some deep moving Academy Award winning Oscar drama, which is why I can't give it a 10 or even a nine and a half. Maybe over time I could bump it up, but this movie is awesome. And I really recommend people go out and see it. There's something sweet about it. And it's it's so funny. Oh my I'm literally I'm gonna be in bed tonight laughing at things I, that happened in this movie and probably will be for the next like week plus. I can't wait to I would actually for, for real, I would see this movie again if somebody wanted to, me to. Like I would see it for full price at a movie theater, which I never do anymore. That's how much I enjoy this. This is a 9 out of 10. This will make my top 10 list at the end of the year. I think it's hysterically funny. I adored it, and I really recommend it. I just, I laughed so hard at this movie. So that'll do it for this review. You can follow me on Twitter, at Castellani2014. While you're at it, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get those watch hours up, up, up. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Peace and happiness.